Hi everyone, my name is Jess and yes, I am back in my office. I want to show you the new Dell Display and Peripheral Manager. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. It would help me out a lot. And you'll be reminded that every single Monday I do post new content. Now that content is a whole range of different things from hardware to take on the road with you to home office gear and everything in between. And if you have any recommendations of what you want to see next, feel free to comment below. I will read it personally. Now let's just dive right in. I'm going to share my screen and walk you through the Dell Peripheral Manager. You'll get a sneak peek of what I'm using in my home office. I do change up very frequently, probably at least once a month, I will have a new keyboard that I am testing. So let's get to that video. Here is the Dell Display and Peripheral Manager. Now, where do I start? I originally made a video all about Display Manager, and then I also made a video all about Peripheral Manager. Now they are merged together. This is a brand new platform. I just updated it. I do believe this update is including docs, and I don't have a dock because I'm using the USB-C hub. But if I did have a dock, this would show up. So hopefully on my next dock video, you're gonna see it pop up. It's gonna be wonderful, but let's dive into it. Let's look first at the monitor part. Now I do have two monitors plugged into my desk and it shows that I have plugged it in using the display port. There is nothing else on the market that does hardware, software as pretty as this, and next generation peripherals that are this good. Now you can see all my peripherals, but let's focus here. Display port, now if I plugged it in with HDMI or mini display port, I'm sure it would show up here. Now let's click on the monitor. Now when you just hover your mouse over this monitor, it is gonna show you what type of monitor. It's gonna be out outlined in that little green box. So this is the U3023E. I'm gonna go ahead and click it. You can do the drop down here and do your other monitor, which is really nice. And here's the monitor, so you can restore it to default. It is plugged into DisplayPort. This is what the monitor looks like. Now, when we look at the display settings, it's gonna be very similar to the just Dell Display Manager. You'll have your brightness, your contrast, any hotkeys. You can pick the color once it loads. I don't know why I have it manual. Maybe I should change it to auto. Let's do auto. Now you can do night light on or off, and that is in the window setting, advanced settings, color management. So this monitor is outstanding how many options it has. And then properties. So you can take a look here directly at the resolution. It will have the drop down of every possible resolution that you could imagine. Orientation, portrait, landscape. So it's nice that you don't need to go into the wedding, uh, wedding window settings to do this. You can do it all right here. Now let's look at the import input source. I don't know what's going on with me today. Input source, USB-C, display port, HDMI. You can say I'm currently using this, but you can select USB-C or HDMI. Now we can move over to the full screen option. You can toggle between different positions and there are the hotkeys. This is such a great little platform. Now I like and dislike this type of setting. So easy memory or layout is nice. I'm not gonna play around with it all, but I find you really need to learn what layouts you like. And it takes me way too long. And clearly I'm too ADHD that I want to switch these all the time, but it's nice that you can make it custom. Currently, I have nothing, but I created this custom one for one, one other monitor. Now, easy memory and settings. So you can click a hotkey and it's just automatically going to go into place, which is nice. Then we have KVM. So network KVM suitable for multiple monitor setup through Set up network, easy and secure file sharing between PC, PCs, Mac, and Windows base. Now you can use USB KVM or no KVM at all. Now, if we look at the others, we can do a screensaver if we will. 
We can do any application imports. So automatically apply the settings when the same model is detected. That is amazing. So if you have another monitor exactly the same as this one, you can automatically use these same settings. Now let's go back. I'm not gonna go through every monitor, but I'm gonna show you this one too. This is my 40 inch monitor. And if you've not seen this video about this 40 inch, some of you loved it, some of you didn't, but I'll link it down below. I love this monitor. Probably took three weeks to get used to this monitor because it's huge. I can't even imagine a 49 inch Dell. Do not send me one. I can't imagine that size, but it is a great monitor. My other monitor back here is not as big. It looks massive. It's also lovely, but let's talk about this monitor. Let's not get distracted. We're going to have exactly the same settings. All right. But there's smart HDR built into this. You, um, you can't control the brightness and contrast if Smart HDR is on. You can turn it off if you want, right here. You'll have your night light mode if you want. Properties, again, this monitor is a beast. It's gonna go up to 5120 by 2160. <clears throat> it's gonna have the same input source. I just love it because you're automatically being able to see what ports you can use and what are the Thunderbolt DisplayPort HDMI. Anything else interesting? So I do have easy arrange. I have it just cut in four because this is a giant monitor, guys. And then you're gonna have your KVM option as well. Now, a couple of you were asking, why does Alienware not have KVM? Well, Alienware is for gamers, not, not working people. So they're not gonna give us KVM, I'm sure. So here are the peripherals that I'm currently using yes you might say where is your keyboard jess why is your keyboard not on here i am not using a dell keyboard right now i'm testing out another one i'm going to probably test out another one in a week or so but the dell keyboard i mean if you've seen my office there's tons of dell keyboards over there so let's talk about the webcam let's see here we go here's the webcam you're gonna have all your camera controls ai auto framing camera transition. If you are not used to Dell peripherals or Dell peripheral manager, get on board because this is one of the best software platforms that I've seen from a peripheral. It's better than Logitech. It's better than uh, Ozbot. It's better than a few other ones that I've seen on the market. I have yet to see how Lenovo or HP is doing this. Maybe that's something coming in the future, but today this is what I'm comparing to. Now, I like the presence detection. It looks like I need to update my system and capture it in 4K, full HD or HD. This is nice. All right, moving on to the next peripheral. Here's my mouse. I love that it says it's at 79% battery and you can connect it to two Bluetooth devices and one dongle. Now you can unpair it here as well. You can look at the mouse settings, how fast, ooh, that's very fast, how fast you want it. Let's just turn that down, left and right, maybe I'll turn it a tiny bit up, all right. You can assign actions for all applications or any Windows Microsoft based applications, very lovely. And now lastly, my headset, this is the Dell Pro Plus Wireless ANC headset WL5024. It is running at 61% and this device can be paired with up to two hosts all together. And how did I know that? Because it said it in the Dell Display and Peripheral Manager. Now we can either restore it to default, so that's going to automatically reset everything. You can do active noise canceling, transparency or off. There's a ton of different modes here. You can automate some uh, actions. You can do some device settings here. Looks like you can down download Dell Audio. I am the type of employee that I'm not able to download just anything, so I do need to go to IT to get that downloaded. But let's go to the last peripheral, which is the Dell Pro Speakerphone SP3022. Now there's a sneak peek on my YouTube channel that will show you that Dell is coming out with another new speakerphone and 
chef's kiss. It is beautiful. So audio preset, is this for speech, bass boost, or treble if you're listening to music? Now we'll take a look at everything for me is on. I want the intelligent mic noise cancellation. I want the volume adjustment tone. And then you can min and max only as well. And you can do uh, interaction settings. So hover on the application name and view. Let's see, you can do Zoom, Google Meet and Microsoft, lovely. Shows you exactly on the picture what buttons work for which platform. If you have made it this far in the video, a subscribe would go a long way for me. I am trying to hit my goals of about 5,000 subscribers and I am almost there. Feel free to share this video, like, or even comment. I love to hear from you and I do respond to every comment. It might take me a little bit, but I get there. Now, I will see you next Monday. Take care.